The Coptic calendar, also called the Alexandrian calendar, is a liturgical calendar used by the Coptic Orthodox Church and also used by farming populace in Egypt. This calendar is based on the ancient Egyptian calendar. To avoid the calendar creep of the latter, a reform of the ancient Egyptian calendar was introduced at the time of Ptolemy III decree of Canopus, in 238 BC which consisted of the intercalation of a sixth epigominal day every fourth year. However, this reform was opposed by the Egyptian priests, and the reform was not adopted until 25 BC, when the Roman Emperor Augustus imposed the decree upon Egypt as its official calendar although it was unsynchronized with the newly introduced Julian calendar which had erroneously been intercalating leap days every third year due to a misinterpretation of the leap year rule so as to apply inclusive counting. To distinguish it from the ancient Egyptian calendar, which remained in use by some astronomers until medieval times, this reformed calendar is known as the Coptic calendar. Its years and months coincide with those of the Ethiopian calendar but have different numbers and names. Coptic year the Coptic year is the extension of the ancient Egyptian civil year, retaining its subdivision into the three seasons, four months each. The three seasons are commemorated by special prayers in the Coptic liturgy. This calendar is still in use all over Egypt by farmers to keep track of the various agricultural seasons. The Coptic calendar has 13 months, 12 of 30 days each and one at the end of the year of five days in length, except in leap years when the month is six days. Today, and until 2099, the year starts on of September in the Gregorian calendar or on 12 in the year before Julian leap years. The Coptic leap year follows the same rules as the Julian calendar so that the extra month always has six days in the year before a Julian leap year. The Feast of Nehru's marks the first day of the Coptic year. Ignorant of the Persian language for the most part, the Arabs confused the Egyptian New Year's celebrations, which the Egyptians called the Feast of Niyaroo, the Feast of the Rivers, with the Persian Feast of Nowruz. The misnomer remains today, and the celebrations of the Egyptian New Year on the first day of the month of Thout are known as the Nehruz. Its celebration falls on the first day of the month of Thout, the first month of the Egyptian year, which for 1901 to 2098 usually coincides with the 11th of September, except before a Gregorian leap year when it is the 12th of September. Coptic years are counted from 284, the year Diocletian became Roman emperor, whose reign was marked by tortures and mass executions of Christians, especially in Egypt. Hence, the Coptic year is identified by the abbreviation AM for Anno Martyrum or year of the martyrs. The first day of the year I of the Coptic era was 29 August 284 in the Julian calendar. Note that AM abbreviation is also used for unrelated calendar eras such as the Byzantine and Jewish calendar epochs which start at the putative creation of the world, it then stands for Anno Mundi. Every fourth Coptic year is a leap year without exception, as in the Julian calendar, so the above-mentioned new year dates apply only between 1900 and 2099 inclusive in the Gregorian calendar. In the Julian calendar, the new year is always 29 August, except before a Julian leap year when it is 30 August. Easter is reckoned by the Julian calendar in the old calendarist way. To obtain the Coptic year number, subtract from the Julian year number either 283 before the Julian New Year or 284 after it. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Date of Christmas. Topic: <inaudible> Coptic Christmas is observed on what the Julian calendar labels the 25th of December, a date that currently corresponds with the 7th of January on the more widely used Gregorian calendar, which is also when Christmas is observed in Eastern Orthodox countries such as Russia. The 25th of December Nativity of Christ was attested very early by Hippolytus of Rome, 170 to 236, in his commentary on Daniel chapter 4 verse 23. The first coming of our Lord, that in the flesh, in which he was born at Bethlehem, took place eight days before the calends of January, a Wednesday, in the forty-second year of the reign of Augustus, five thousand five hundred years from Adam. Another early source is Theophilus Bishop of Caesarea, 115 to 181. We ought to celebrate the birthday of our Lord on what day soever the twenty-fifth of December shall happen. Magdeburgenses, sent to. C. 6. Hospinian, De Origin Festorum Christianorum. 
However, it was not until 367 that the 25th of December was begun to be universally accepted. Before that, the Eastern Church had kept the 6th of January as the Nativity under the name Epiphany. John Chrysostom, in a sermon preached in Antioch in 387, relates how the correct date of the Nativity was brought to the East ten years earlier. Dionysus of Alexandria emphatically quoted mystical justifications for this very choice. The 25th of March was considered to be the anniversary of creation itself. It was the first day of the year in the medieval Julian calendar and the nominal vernal equinox it had been the actual equinox at the time when the Julian calendar was originally designed. Considering that Christ was conceived on that date, the 25th of March was recognized as the Feast of the Annunciation which had to be followed, nine months later, by the celebration of the birth of Christ, Christmas, on 25 December. There may have been more practical considerations for choosing 25 December. The choice would help substitute a major Christian holiday for the popular pagan celebration surrounding the winter solstice Roman solstitia, the three-day stasis when the sun would rise consecutively in its southernmost point before heading north, 21, 22 and 23 December. The celebrations began a full week prior to the religious observance and the drunken revelers were expectantly sobered and orgies exhausted by the festival's close, prompting the eve or vigil of the 24th, 25th as an optimally moral and safe time for the Feast of Christ's Nativity. The religious competition was fierce. In AD 274, Emperor Aurelian had declared a civil holiday on 25 December the Festival of the Birth of the Unconquered Sun to celebrate the deity Sol Invictus. Finally, joyous festivals are needed at that time of year, to fight the natural gloom of the season in the Northern Hemisphere. Until the 16th century, 25 December coincided with 29 Koyuk of the Coptic calendar. However, upon the introduction of the Gregorian calendar in 1582, 25 December shifted ten days earlier in comparison with the Julian and Coptic calendars. Furthermore, the Gregorian calendar drops three leap days every 400 years to closely approximate the length of a solar year. As a result, the Coptic Christmas advances a day each time the Gregorian calendar drops a leap day years AD 1700, 1800, and 1900. This is the reason why old calendrists using the Julian and Coptic calendars presently celebrate Christmas on the 7th of January 13 days after the new calendrists using the Gregorian calendar who celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December. From AD 2100, the Coptic Christmas will be on the Gregorian date of the 8th of January. Topic: <laughs> Date of Easter. Topic: According to Christian tradition, Jesus died at the ninth hour that is, the canonical hour of Nona—3 p.m. of the first full day of Pesach, when that day fell on a Friday, and arose from the dead at or by the first canonical hour of the next Sunday. The day of Pesach Pasha or Passover, 15 Nisan, is always at the first full moon following the northern vernal equinox. At the first ecumenical council, held in AD 325 at Nicaea, it was decided to celebrate Easter on the Sunday following the so-called Paschal Full Moon, as for the Christian Church to differentiate itself from their Jewish counterparts. At the Council of Nicaea, it became one of the duties of the Patriarch of Alexandria to determine the dates of the Easter and to announce it to the other Christian churches. This duty fell on this officiate because of the erudition at Alexandria he could draw on. The rules to determine this are complex, but Easter is the first Sunday after a full moon occurring after the northern vernal equinox, which falls on or after 21 March, which was its nominal date at the time of the First Council of Nicaea. Shortly after Julius Caesar reformed the calendar, the northern vernal equinox was occurring on the nominal date of 25 March. This was abandoned shortly after Nicaea, but the reason for the observed discrepancy was all but ignored the actual tropical year is not quite equal to the Julian year of 365 one quarter days, so the date of the equinox keeps creeping back in the Julian calendar. Between the Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church, there are different dates for holidays. In recent years there have been multiple attempts to unify these dates. Some people are skeptical about the success of these attempts. Eastern Orthodox use the Julian calendar while Catholics use the Gregorian calendar. Pope Tawadros, the Coptic Pope, and Pope Francis, the Catholic Pope, agreed to the proposal to celebrate Easter on the same day. Pope Tawadros is suggested to celebrate Easter on the second Sunday of April. 
Topic: Coptic months. Topic: The following table refers to dates for Coptic years not containing February 29th. Such years are preceded by a Coptic leap day at the end of the preceding year. This causes dates to move one day later in the Julian and Gregorian calendars from the Coptic New Year's Day until the leap day of the Julian or Gregorian calendar respectively. Literature <inaudible> 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 Wolfgang Cossack, Der Koptische Heiligenkalender. The Calendar of the Coptic Holies. Deutsch, Koptisch, Arabisch nach den besten Quellen neu berbete und vollständig herausgegeben mit Index Sanctorum Koptischer Heiliger, Index der Namen auf Koptisch, Koptische Patriarchenlist, Geographische Liste. Christoph Brunner, Berlin 2012, ISBN 978-3-9524018-4-2. Topic. See also. Topic. Egyptian calendar. Ethiopian calendar. Computus. Era of martyrs. Diocletian era. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links Topic. The Coptic Calendar of Martyrs. Seasonal Almanac Based on the Coptic Calendar is an Arabic manuscript from 1678. The Coptic Calendar by Bishoy K. R. Dawood. 1. 29 MB PDF file, Historical Development and Technical Discussion. An introduction to the Coptic calendar Gregorian equivalents are valid only between 1900 and 2099 Ancient Egyptian calendar and Coptic calendar <laughs>